Here in part three of the six part series, we'll talk about pump configuration and very prime. So here we started at the home screen. We press configuration. Here's our configuration menu and options. And here you would click on pumps. Pump configuration. So we can send out a signal and control boiler pump, a domestic pump, and a system pump. And what is this? This is your pump post purge. But before we get into that, it's defaulted for auto. So we can choose the boiler pump in the automatic position or always on. Let's say we had an outdoor application for the boiler pump or a boiler was outdoor and we needed to make sure we kept the system running due to some cold conditions. You can choose off during domestic mode. So it gives you all kinds of options here. I'm just going to go back to auto. And the boiler pump post circulation is defaulted for 60 seconds. This is in seconds, we have up to 600 seconds. I would not go any less than 60 seconds. Keep in mind, if we have a boiler in operation uh, and we shut off in the TT call, we do not want to shut off the pump at the same time. You want to make sure you have some type of pump post purge that will keep that pump running in this example for 60 seconds just to dissipate the heat. And you would do the same for DHW if you needed domestic hot water you can drop this down. Why? Because you don't want to overheat an indirect tank. So, you know, we can drop that down to a little lesser if needed. And system pump post circulation. If we do have a system pump and now we've reached example warm weather shutdown, uh, you can shorten that up. But again, 60 seconds works pretty well in the industry. So the next we'll talk about is very prime and understanding very prime. So Lars Link or Lars Controls monitor the inlet sensor and outlet sensor of the boiler. And there we're looking at a delta T. <clears throat> and you would choose the delta T. Example, a 20 degree or 30 degree delta T. And what we can do here is have a variable speed pump uh, for the boiler pump. And as the firing rate changes and we're modulating and we're looking at our delta T, we'll send off a signal to a variable speed pump to maintain whatever desired delta T you choose. And that signal that can be sent out to that variable speed pump can either be a four to 20 milliamp or zero to 10 volt DC. So you choose that. And this works with any manufacturer's pump, providing it's a variable speed pump. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is very prime. First about is the delta T. Uh, on this product, it's defaulted for 20 degree delta T. The example we used earlier of 30 degree delta T, you can come in, back that out, and type in 30 degree delta T. Hit the enter button, it's going to prompt you, you sure you want to make this change, and click OK. Now there are a couple other things I want to talk about here is the on delay. So the on delay is defaulted for 60 seconds. So on a call for heat, the pump will go to full rate for 60 seconds. Uh, that way it gives the boiler time to modulate down, light off, and run smooth. After 60 seconds, the boiler will start modulating based on its delta T, and in this example we use 30 degrees. The off delay is defaulted for 60 seconds. Why? Because again, we want to be able to dissipate the heat in the heat exchanger. Uh, the boiler will go to full rate for 60 seconds uh, and then shut down. Please don't forget to go in and watch part four of the six part series. Thank you.